All right, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, we Kakwadash, double honors being to the uh, elder apostles of Great Millstone that do the rule and teach well. And of course, the sense of Shalom, I'm taking Akim out there that's pushing the truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh Bahashem Al Shai. All right, so this lesson is going to be titled, Truth Shall Flourish. All right. And, um, yeah, man, you know, and that's what's happening right now, as we see in the earth, you know, right now, this, this, uh, present time, all right, that, the present times that we're living in, all right, truth is, is flourishing, all right, and, you know, when, um, you know, truth is flourishing, while wickedness is being quenched out, you know, evil is being quenched, you know, and, 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 and the scriptures speak about that, you know, because Yahweh Shemal Shai is having, you know, Israelites, you know, as you already know, you know, wake up, you know, day, you know, uh, uh, day by day. All right. And it's beautiful because what did Yahweh Shai say? He said that, uh, well, let me get it real quick. This is the book of um, Matthew 24 and verse uh, 14. It says, and thus gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Right. So this gospel is being preached in all the world. Okay, everywhere, every country, continent, everywhere. Okay, and it says for a witness unto all nations because we've been scattered as a people. So Israelites are waking up everywhere. Okay, and it says here's the point, and then it shall the end come. All right, and that's beautiful, man. You know, so meanwhile you have the truth flourishing. You know, but guess what? The end of Esau's rulership is coming to an end. Okay, because even though, like I said earlier, truth is flourishing, but guess what? Evil is being quenched. You know, the seed is being put out. All right. And um, and I'm, I did a lesson a few days ago. All right. Basically titled uh, the, the title of it was um, the um, this truth is changing the vibration in the earth in which it is. OK, because now you haven't, you know, Israelites wake up, you know, back to back, man. You know, and this further proves that we're at the end of, you know, uh, um, at the um, the end of the rulership of our oppressors. All right, Esau eat him. Okay. And guess what? The elites they notice. And that's why they're doing everything in their power, you know, to hurry up and get this uh this NWO, you know, going, you know, because they know that, you know, they have but a short time. You know, uh, and that's in the book of Job. I'll get that real quick. This is um Let me see, uh Job twenty and verse four. And it says, uh, Noah's, I'm sorry, four, it says, Noah's thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment, right, man, right, man, is short, okay? So because, um, because this, uh, the Lord gave uh, Esau, you know, a time to rule, all right? The most high gives, the, the most high gives everybody a chance to rule, man, all right? And guess what? You know, uh, uh, this devil's chance is about to be up. All right, you uh you 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 uh, you had as a captivity for centuries, all right. But guess what? Now now it's time for you to go in captivity, and time for us to rule, all right. But we're back to the point. Let's go back in Matthew real quick, all right. Matthew twenty four and fourteen it says, "And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world." Right, but in this gospel, the good news, you know, of our kingdom, all right. You know the the uh, the gospel. You know per, uh, pertain to the the, the return of Yahweh Shai. You know per, uh, uh, pertain to the the rulership of the Israelites. You know that's good news for us. And it says, so, "Shall we preach in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come?" All right. And guess what? The end is nigh, man. Okay. And and guess what? Since this truth is flourishing, let's get this scripture. This is Isaiah sixty. And um, uh, verse one, and it says, "Arise, shine, all right, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee." All right, so guess what? You know, you know, uh, that you know, basically the uh, the Lord is, the, the Lord has uh has uh, uh, uh gave us this truth, you know, the the Lord Yahweh Shmuel Shai has blessed us, you know, with this truth, you know, and that's why it said what it said, "Arise, arise and shine," all right. We've been awoken, okay. We've been uh, we've been uh, uh, um, rendered active, 
Kalei Bashma Shah, and it says, Arise, shine, for that light is come, all right, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. And what's that light is truth, all right? All right, it says, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee, meaning what? Meaning that, guess what, is being shown everywhere, man, all right? Everything here is being shown, all right? It's being, it's being shown from 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 New York down uh, 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 no, uh, to, uh, to uh, Suriname, all right, uh, uh, from UK to Canada, okay? And it's going to keep growing, all right? And real quick, let's look at the word flourish, okay? The meaning of the word flourish in Google, it says, um, grow or develop in a, uh, grow or develop in a healthy or vigorous way. All right. And that's one thing too. This truth has, you know, become worldwide, man. Because once you, because the truth started out, it started out where? Out there in Harlem, you know, I know, um, out there in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Harlem, New York. All right. But guess what? It went from Harlem to, to everywhere. Okay. So guess what? This truth has been, you know, pushed out by Habashmal Shai, by him using his men. All right. Now, you know, his men are, are putting videos and you know, lessons of whatnot in camps on what? The internet. Okay. So guess what? The, the internet has, you know, has um has uh, a lot of the truth to, to grow and develop by way of, you know, of course, the Habashmal Shai. All right. Let's get that. This is the book of, um. let me see. Psalm 19 and um, verse 2 says, Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Right, man? So this truth, you know, hey, man, you, hey, you don't matter if you speak Spanish. Don't matter if you speak English, a different language. Guess what? The truth is going to, you're going to get it. You know, if, 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 you know, if, you know, because the truth, it, 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 uh, it comes in many languages. You know, you got brothers scattered everywhere and they're speaking different languages and still a push, a pushing the word. You got brothers who speak sign language, you know, that's heavy. OK, but guess what? The, the, you know, uh, you know, the, uh, this word is, is, is growing and in, in, uh, developing in a very uh, uh, vigorous manner. OK, and it says day unto uh, day, unto day utter a speech and night and, and night unto night show knowledge. Verse three, there is no speech nor language. Where their voice is not heard, right? Verse four: the line has gone out through all the earth, and how does the line go out through all the earth? By way of the internet, all right. And the words to the end of the world, and them have they set a tap. Well, that was a point right there. And it says, uh, verse four: it's like yeah, the line has gone out through all the earth, and the words to the end of the world, right, man? And, and, and it said what? The words to the end of the world, man. Okay, by way of the internet, all right. This place, uh, 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 it's like it, not not the place, but this truth has, you know, uh, uh, it has flourished, and, you know, and, and uh, it has prevailed throughout every place, man, everywhere. All right, call long like how about Shmuel Shai, and it's gonna keep growing. All right, this is the book on uh, Romans ten, and um, get to the point, and uh, uh. I'll start uh, 17 Romans 10 and 17 it says So the faith cometh by hearing And hearing by the word of the Most High And how do you hear the words of, of the Most High Through his prophets All right, The ones that's pushing, doing the lessons Pushing the word you know, on highways and byways Verse 18 it says But I say have they not heard Yes verily the sign went into all the earth Alright Through what by way of what The, the internet Okay you know, into the internet, all right. They, they, you know, these, they, uh, uh, these, uh, this is the way, uh, uh, uh it's like, yeah, this is the way, uh, 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 it's how the truth is flourishing, all right. And it says, their sound went into all the earth, all right, and the words unto the ends of the world, right, man. And, and you know, and, and this song is being, is being pushed everywhere, you know, but you know, because this, uh, this gospel, uh, you know, uh, you know, this doctrine is likened unto a song, all right. And right here it says what? There's sound, all right. You know, and guess what? You know, this song is being sung, you know, uh, you know, across uh, the the four winds of the earth, all right. Now, real quick, let's go to um. Let me see. Um, it's like yeah.
2 Andrew 6 and 28, and it says, I'm going to start at 27. 2 Andrew 6 and 27, it says, For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. Right, man. And it says, As for faith, it shall flourish. Right, man. And, and, and how is that? Because you have men pushing this word through faith. All right. This truth. All right. This truth is, is flourishing. All right. You, all right. Now you have faithful men and women upon the earth, man. All right. You know, uh, uh, and, and these men and women, you know, it's like men and women. All right. They had that faith in the, in the names of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai. And it says, as for faith, it shall flourish. Right, and the, and, the, and the meaning of the word flourish means what again? It says to grow, develop in a healthy or vigorous way, especially as a result of a particularly favorable environment. All right. And the second definition, it says uh, a wave around to attract the attention of others. And, guess, and, that's, and that's right. This word has attracted, the, you know, the attention of others because it's, it's spread it. All right. Then you have an Israelites, you know, wake up other Israelites, you know, uh, 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 but mainly the elect. All right. And it says, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, all right, and the truth, which, uh, uh, and the truth, which had, which had been so long without fruit, shall be declared, right, man, because the truth has been, uh, like it says in the book, of, uh, in the book of Colossians, it said, it said, this truth has been, uh, hid, for, it's like, it, it said, it says the truth has been hid, uh, from ages and from generations, okay, but now it's being declared, okay, but now you have men, Israelite men, proclaiming who they are. Proclaim who they worshiping, proclaim uh, proclaiming the uh, the, uh, the the evil and wickedness of uh, you know of Esau Edom, okay, proclaim the downfall of the oppressors, all right, but guess what man, this uh, uh is uh, is being declared man, all right, call on like how about Shmuel Shai, and guess what, it's, it's still growing, it's gonna keep growing man, it's gonna keep growing, all right, because why because. If it be of uh, if it be of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, it's gonna it's gonna succeed. But if it be of man, it's not it's gonna come to naught. And guess what? This truth uh, uh, this truth has been ordained by Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, man. All right. All right. This is um. What did I want to get slack here? This is the um, book of um, Thess uh, Thessalonians. First Thessalonians, excuse me. Oh, Slakia, not Thessalonians. Uh, damn it, let me look it up, Slakia. Having a brain fart right now. Uh, oh, the Wadi about Shmuel Shai. All right, this is, uh, yep, call Wadi about Shmuel Shai. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8, and it says, And then shall that wicked be revealed. Right? Who is the wicked? Esau. All right. The Edomite least, you know, starting off with you starting off with them because you no, know, they're the whole, they're the uh, uh the head, you know what I mean, of the wicked. You know, they're the they're the the uh the uh the, 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 the top of the wicked, the elite. All right, and it says, and then shall that wicked be revealed. And how is it being revealed? Because you know, the light, you know, the truth is is being is being uh, um Declared throughout the whole four corners of the earth, all right. And these men, you know, that that's pushing the gospel uh, of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, you know, it, you know, is exposing him, you know, on a, on a very high level, all right, through the Bible, okay. And it says, "Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of His mouth." And and, and what's that? The spirit of His mouth is, is who? The Lord's prophets, because you gotta remember, the Lord's not gonna come down and get off His throne. Nah, the Lord's gonna ordain men. To, you know, to, to bring forth his word and use them on the right hand side, you know, and, and, uh, and allow these men to be oracles, you know, to, you know, to, to, uh, to get to get his message across. All right. And it says, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. All right. But the point was right there. The point has been made, man. All right. So guess what? You know, this truth has been flourishing, you know, and guess what's still going to keep flourishing. All right. It's going to keep growing and developing and, 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 and it's something way more greater. Okay, because because this truth is ultimately, you know, is bringing in prophecy. You know, you know, because why? Because because we're prophesying. All right, and guess what? Soon prophecy prophecy is going to take place. You know, you got World War Three. You know, you have the mandatory chipping. You know, you have uh, uh, the uh, the return the return uh, of Yahweh Shai. All right, you, you got uh, 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 nuclear destruction upon Babylon. 
all right and ultimately you know the, the kingdom of heaven man and that's and 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 and, and that's uh, uh one thing that we can you know uh, uh you know hasten you know the return of Yahweh Shai and being in our kingdom okay so that being said you know I just want to say call lame like Yahweh Shema Shai by Shem Rakhakudash double honors being to the elder apostles of great Moonstone that do rule and teach well and once again I send sure shall I want to you I'll out there to push his word through his spirit through the power and through the name of, and through the name of Yahweh Shema Shai and a Lord's will this, this lesson was edifying to the Lord's sheep Shalom.